Jill, uh, founder of Kids Baking Club. How are you guys doing today? Uh, today is probably one of the easiest recipes that I've done since I've been doing these lives. But you know, sometimes we just want to make easy things and kind of shock people that it didn't look as easy as it looks. But what we're making today are mini pies. These are cherry pies, but you can do apple pies, peach pies, nectarine pies. You can do a little pumpkin pie. So I'm going to show you how to get the crust ready, and then you get to choose what kind of fillings you want. So with this recipe, you just need two ingredients. How easy is that? <laughs> you need refrigerated pie crust, and this is the Pillsbury brand, but you can find any brand. It usually comes rolled up like this. Do not buy the frozen kind that's already put in the pan that will not work. So you definitely need the kind that roll out like this. And then you need some type of filling. So we're using um, cherry pie filling today, but you can use, um, just go to the grocery store. You can use fresh fruit and you know dice up the apples and add a little bit of cinnamon and sugar and then add that in there. You can do that with peaches and plums and you can take pitted cherries and do that. You can use raspberries and boysenberries. Just make sure you add a little bit of sugar in there and maybe a little bit of flour to thicken it while it bakes. Or you can buy these canned fillings which are awesome too. So let me show you how fun and easy these are to make. So one of the things is you'll keep this refrigerated but do take it out about a half an hour before you start so it doesn't stick. And what you're going to do is just take it out of the package. Now in all of our kits with our baking club, if you're part of Kids Baking Club, we always include a cookie cutter every single month. And um, I'm actually gonna post a little thing about that, about you can use cookie cutters for so many things. And one of those is with Play-Doh. So this is kind of having fun with Play-Doh. So you're just gonna roll it out but you don't wanna keep it this thickness because that's for like a big pie, right? So we want ours a little bit thinner. So just put it on a board and get a rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin, um, you can even use a glass. Um, you can actually even use your fingers and we're just gonna roll it out, okay? Try to roll it as thin as it can go. Now this is where you're going to need a at least a four inch circle. Now I have a four inch circle cutter. You can use a biscuit cutter. If you don't have one of these, this actually came in one of our boxes recently. You can actually find a glass that's the same size, right? So see how that is? And then you would put that on top and then take a knife and make a little indent and then take a knife to go around. But since I have the cutter, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm gonna move these over here because we're going to need our cupcake pan. And you do not have to spray this. You don't have to oil this because there's already oil in the pie crust. Now, if you are really great at pie crust, go ahead and make your own pie crust. If you go to kidsbakingclub.com, you can go to the top of the menu, it says blog, and it has a bunch of recipes in there. I'll put that on this week, so I'll show you the recipe that I learned from my mom, because we used to make a ton of pies at Thanksgiving, and I'm still the pie girl at my all the family events. I always make pies. Now, the leftover crust, this, you need to save this, because this is going to then be the top of your mini pies. So go ahead and put those to the side. Don't eat it. <laughs> and then you're just gonna take your little piece. I'm gonna move this over here. I need a bigger counter. <laughs> take your cupcake liner and then just kind of go like this a little bit. Make sure your hands are clean and go ahead and stick it into the pan like that. You don't have to press all the way down because when you put the filling in, it's actually gonna add, create some weight. You wanna kinda create a little bit of a lip at the top so it's going to be easy to come out of the pan when it's all baked. <clears throat> you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees because it's kind of a slow bake. And you're just gonna fill these up all the way this is making eight, but this box came with two of those rolls. 
So you'll get 16 mini pies. And hey, if you do the math, this is kind of really good cost for a dessert because I think the pie crust was like $3 and this can was $3. So it was like $6 for 18 servings. That's really good. So with this other dough, go ahead and roll it back up. See, Play-Doh. Go ahead and set this on the side. And we are going to roll it back out again. Now you can use any kind of little cutter. You can actually um, not use a mini cutter. In our this month's baking box, all the kids and parents are getting these mini stars, which we use for some other recipes, but this is perfect for this recipe. It's getting a little sticky. If it gets really sticky, you can add some flour. I'm just gonna make some stars. Now you can also just use a knife and make some straight lines. I'll show you in just a second. I'm just gonna make some little stars here. Oh, popped right out. And got my stars. I'm going to lift my dough up again. And I can actually start to feel that the dough is getting a little sticky because it's warm uh, where I live. And when that happens, you want to make sure you have a little bit of flour next to you so that um, it doesn't get too sticky. So go ahead and roll, roll it out again. And we are going to make straight cuts. Straight cuts is really, it's called um, it's kind of like a lattice work. You ever go to like a garden they have those lattice walls that are so so pretty okay so just taking a knife um, if your parents don't want you to use a knife then you can actually use a plastic knife or even a pizza cut cutter if you want and we're just gonna make these small little cuts if you can't see this right now I'll lift it up so you can see so we're just gonna make these little cuts and you can see I've just made little strips like this, and that's going to go over our cupcakes, um, mini pies. Okay, all right, now's the fun part, and that is filling our pans up with our filling. Can you already start to guess what filling you're going to use? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to use the cherry. Actually, it'd be really neat if you had a variety of fillings and that would make such a pretty presentation for like a dessert you know by like cherry apple peach um, really delicious now parents I do want to um, say when you make these one of the things you can do is that you just bake the pie crust by itself right and then you pop those out and then you can actually add like pudding or chocolate mousse. You can even add a scoop of ice cream. <laughs> um, so they make just like little mini cups that the kids can have some fun with too. So you're just gonna fill these up. Not all the way because it does uh, can boil over when it's um, baking. Okay, so you can see that I have filled them all up like that. And then this is the time that you want to put your stars on top to make it really patriotic. But hey, if you have like a special event, like some a star, they graduated, they did something really special, they got a new job for your parents, there's a new baby coming. Um, so go ahead and put the stars like that, but I'm gonna show you with the strips you're just gonna put them across like that. If you can see, I did that across like that. And then do the other ones across this way. And then you're going to need a knife again. 
So now see how it's all across? Now you have to take a knife and you have to make sure those get cut out, okay? And just cut, go around the side very carefully, making sure. So these are gonna pop into the oven for 20 minutes, but kind of watch it. Um, it might need longer. What you're looking for is a little bit of crusting around this side, and then on the top, you'll see that it's brown, and that shows you that it's ready. So when they get out, when they come out of the oven, you're going to need to let them cool a little bit before you pop them in, because what happens is this jelly um, sets a little bit, and so it doesn't run out. Also, hot sugar is very hot, and you don't wanna pop these out, especially the kids. I know you're gonna be so excited to eat them, but you do want to wait till they cool down just a little bit before you pop them out of the cupcake pans. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will comment back. Thank you for joining me today. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.